So in my previous videos where I tested out the RTX 2070 with the Core i7-3770, couple of you guys pointed out that the CPU temperature is a little bit too high. As you can see, we are touching 71 degrees and this is Battlefield 5. And the game has been running for about 10 minutes now. Looks like the CPU temperature has settled around 71 to 72 degrees Celsius. And the ambient temperature in my room is 27 degrees Celsius. And yeah, in an open system like this, this is a little bit too high. And if this computer was inside a case, the temperature would easily shoot up to like 90 plus degrees. Talking about the specs, this computer is running a Core i7-3770. And yes, you heard that right. It's the non-K chip. So no overclocking on this. It's running at stock speeds. And the cooler I'm using is a deep cool Ice Edge 400 XT. It's got a 92 millimeter fan. And yes, I did check the screws and everything. Everything is nice and tight. So the cooler is not loose or anything. And the idle temperatures are 40 degrees Celsius. A mm, little bit too high. And yes, it's idle right now. Okay, so I think what's going on here is that the thermal compound on the CPU has worn off. I mean, it's been about five years since I've installed this deep cool cooler and it's still using the original compound that came with the deep cool cooler. So I've bought this thing. This is the master gel maker from Cooler Master. It's the best thermal compound they've got. So yeah, let's redo the thermal compound and see if it makes any difference in the temperatures. And just so you know guys, this entire computer system is supposed to be inside this cabinet. The only reason why it's sitting over here is because this GPU does not fit inside this case. So I took the CPU heatsink out and it looks like the thermal compound on here has dried up completely. And this is literally stuck onto the heatsink. And fortunately, Cooler Master gives us a grease removal cloth here. I think this will be soaked in isopropyl alcohol. So I'm gonna take this out, clean this up and clean the CPU up, then apply the new thermal paste. And inside the packaging, of course, you get the thermal paste in this syringe cleanser and then you also get this little application tool now I don't like to use this I just like to put a pea sized drop on the center of the CPU and just place the heatsink on there and it spreads by itself so this is your grease cleaner and this is nothing but a cloth soaked in isopropyl alcohol so I'm just gonna clean this up real quick oh look at that it comes right off even though this thing has dried up this removes the old thermal compound without any issues. Okay, so I had to take the CPU out of a socket just to clean it because the paste was literally stuck on there like glue. But yeah, no worries, it's clean now. So I'm gonna install the CPU back in and it's time to give that heat sink a clean. CPU installation is actually very simple. You just place the processor on here on the socket, close the retaining bracket up and then just this clip on here and that's it now the CPU is installed oh yeah look at that it's nice and clean so let's go ahead and install this back onto the CPU now I know this is a controversial topic but this is the amount of thermal paste I'm willing to put on the CPU and now I'm going to install the heatsink and it's going to spread by itself all right, so the CPU heatsink is now in place. It's nice and clean. and also cleaned out the fan, so it's nice and shiny. So let me install the fan, turn the system on, and then we'll check out the temperatures. All right, got the game fired up. And I'm gonna let the game run for about 10, 15 minutes so that the temperature stabilize. It's just started up. I mean, the fans on the GPU are not spinning. So yeah, let's wait and see how much the temperature rises on the CPU. All right, guys, so the game has been running on this computer for one hour. And you can see there has been a significant drop in the temperature of the CPU. So the maximum I've seen here is 60 degrees Celsius. 
And if you remember before we swapped out the thermal compound, we were getting about 72 degrees Celsius. So that's like a 12 degrees Celsius drop on the CPU. And the ambient temperature is still 27 degrees Celsius, so no change in that. So yeah. So I'm quite impressed by the Master Gel Maker Thermal Compound from Cooler Master. Seems to be doing its job perfectly fine. And once again, we are maxing out at 60 degrees Celsius on the CPU before we were getting 72 degrees Celsius. So guys, concluding thoughts, replacing the old thermal compound on the CPU heatsink does make a big difference. And you can see the idle temperatures have also gone down. So guys, thank you for watching this video and if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below and I will be more than happy to answer you guys. So thank you for watching, stay tuned for more videos like these and I will see you guys next time.